Look at the size of this big gray trunk that's sitting in front of my trike. I can't believe I pulled that on my first trip. I just keep it now for cycling stuff that I feel in it. It's a Rubbermaid trunk that weighs 37 pounds. <laughs> and I had it on a burly flatbed trailer pulling behind me. Had about 50 pounds worth of food in it. I was using more calories to pull it than I was getting from the food that was in it. So today I want to talk about it. Howdy everybody, Tricolo with you here once again. And I want to talk about trailers. Do you need a trailer? Do you want a trailer? Do you think you have to have a trailer? Well, that just big trailer I just showed you, I mean, that wasn't a trailer, that was a tub I had on top of a burly flatbed trailer. And I pulled it behind me all the way down to the Mojave Desert. And I'll tell you, it slows you way down. Trailers, I think, for me, the way I see it, just my opinion, for, uh, you know, short jaunts, like let's say you're going to go off for two or three days in the region, do some camping. Yeah, okay. You can do that. Uh, or if you need trailers for around town, running errands, whatever. There's a lot of good uses for trailers. But what I'm proposing here is that taking a trailer on a long overland trike trip, in my opinion, <clears throat> is not a wise idea. I did it in 2009 because I'd never been on a trike trip before. It was my first trike trip. I'd only had the trike a few weeks, just ridden it around the area. <clears throat> and for my training rides, I would take uh, my uh, dumbbells and put them in the trailer to simulate a load. <laughs> I rode all over the place here, you know. Um, but I found that it really slowed me down. Not only that, Maneuvering a trailer, um, like if you park somewhere, I parked in a parking lot once. I just pulled in. There weren't any cars there. When I came out, there were cars on either side. And trust me, you can't just get in and push backwards. Trailer goes all over the place. So um, it's awkward. When I stealth camp off the side of the road, which I, I did uh, that, that first year, down about a 14-foot embankment into a kind of a sandy old road in the woods there. And I pulled the trailer down with me, and the road was only wide enough for a Jeep. We hadn't been used in years, decades. And so I had to turn the trike and the trailer around uh, so that I could get out the next morning, and that took me forever to do it. I mean, you just lose maneuverability. And like I said earlier, um, I had that trailer loaded with food because I wanted to be self-sustaining for uh, at least two weeks if I had to. And sure, I accomplished that goal in a way, but what I found is that the amount of effort to pull that loaded trailer of gear, and it wasn't all just food, um, the effort required to pull it up the mountain passes, I was burning a ton of calories and I was slow as a snail. So it really slowed me down. It uh, made a lot more wear and tear on, you know, my like knees, ankles, your, your drivetrain on your trike. The heavier, if you are pulling a heavy load like that, it just causes wear and tear, slows you down, burns up a lot of calories, and pretty much wipes you out. I was going up over the Cascade Range pulling that thing, and, uh, and I figured, oh yeah, okay, I can make it up there. But the thing was so heavy, it, got, it was cloudy, it got dark. Pretty soon I'm riding in the dark, then it starts snowing, and um, 
<laughs> that was a bad situation. So after that first year, 2009, I uh, promptly sold uh, my Burley flatbed. I kept that trunk that I showed you at the beginning here uh, because um, I can store stuff in it. You know, old helmets, uh, cycling shoes, pedals, all this junk I collect over time is in there. And now it weighs so much I can hardly lift it. But my advice is, on your first trike trip, you're going to be fearful. I was fearful. I'll, I'll just speak from my experience rather than telling you what to do. Um, I was fearful that I was going to run out of food. And my trike trips have uh, always been self-sustained. Uh, all I have is what's with me on the trike. I stealth camp a lot because um, some of my routes, there, there are no campgrounds. You end up camping along the side of a road or just a little dirt road off into some trees and behind some rocks or something, you know. And so uh, I needed to be self-sufficient. But I found even on remote routes, the eastern Sierras and through the deserts, that there were like small ma and pa stores along the way that I was always able to keep myself supplied with food. I never did run out. I never even came close to uh, running down that <clears throat> supply I had in the trailer. And it became pretty obvious after a while that <laughs> it was a mistake. And so, you, you know, I learned from the mistake, but uh, yeah, if you're going to go for a weekend or something, um, and you're not going to go that far, you're not going to climb any killer mountains like, <laughs> like I, I spend a lot of time doing, um, then yeah, take a trailer. I'm not telling you not to. There's a lot of neat trailers, and I will be or have been showing pictures of trailers here in post-production along with this video while I'm talking. They're probably going to appear here someplace. <laughs> So yeah, there's a lot of cool trailers. Radical Design makes a little one. It's really nice. Uh, if you're going to get a trailer, something like that Radical Design trailer, it's, really, it's small and compact, and it's the, the Burley flatbed I had uh, holds that huge Rubbermaid trunk, and uh, I don't think you need something that big. If you do want a trailer, get a, get a small one. Burley makes one called a Nomad. It's larger than the Radical Design trailer, I think. I don't know, the volume might be pretty similar. Uh, but I like things that are small. If you're gonna pull one, pull a small one. Um, and don't overload it. That's all I can have, I have to say here. But trailers, do you, do you need one? Well, you may think you need one, especially if it's your first long trip cross country. You might think so. Um, Maybe you have some special needs where trailers is, is essential. I can't, I can't speak for everybody. Maybe you have some kind of a walking device you need to keep in it. And if that's the case, it'd probably be pretty lightweight. The lightweight trailers, no big deal. Once, even with that heavy trailer that I had, once you're cranking down the road, a flat road like out in the desert somewhere, you don't even know it's back there. You know, it's only when you try to maneuver, get into some really tight spots, in and out of parking, or going up a mountain pass, that you realize you've got a real albatross uh, dragging behind your trike. So, I would recommend, uh, if you haven't taken an over, uh, long trike trip, you know, to take a, like a three-day trike trip somewhere with no trailer, before you buy a trailer, and see, you know, what do you think? See where the markets are, resupply points along your route, water, that kind of thing. Water weighs a ton. If you fill a trailer up with water, uh, that's, <laughs> that's going to really be heavy. But uh, I only did a trailer that one year. It was enough for me. I want no part of it. You learn how to pack on just the trike itself. These are 70 liter Ortlieb panniers. They're, they're huge. This trunk here is uh, 20, 24 liters. I just call it 20. So you got 70 liters in the, in the bags, 35 on each side, 70, 60, you know, 80, 90. I have 90 liters here, well, plus I have a little uh, trunk behind my seat here. Um, that's enough. If you can't get it in bags on a trike, uh, especially big bags like this, these are bigger than the Arkell GT54s. If you can't get it in your bags, don't bring it. 
figure it out ahead of time. Or take out take some little mini trips until you figure out. I never use this, but I, I would like to have had that. You know, that's that's what you have to figure out, and that's what experience brings. But my experience tells me that you don't want a trailer on a long cross-country trip. All right, folks, track on with Steve, sign it out. See ya. And take it easy. Take a trike. <laughs>